Hey guys, I'm Francois from Production Music Live and yesterday I posted a video with this track here on YouTube and two people were already asking if I made it on the M1, on the MacBook Pro 13 inch M1. And I actually made it in the studio on the iMac, but I just loaded it up on the M1 and let's see if it plays. So you can see we have lots of tracks and we have Diva, we have the Arturia Mini, uh, we have Serum. Let's go to the full part where all these things are playing. Looking pretty good. So this is a heavy project file and it works. It's what is missing. Um, yeah, just this Ableton pack. I don't have it installed on the uh, MacBook Pro yet. And okay, this device for Max for Life. And then I also just noticed I still need to install Valhalla Shimmer because this, uh, what was that, clap thing should have a long reverb tail. Yeah. So Valhalla Shimmer was missing uh, because I, I didn't yet install it here. Um, but what we are running is lots of samples with processing, but most of it is Ableton only processed. And then also um, a Diva for the bass um, for different plugs. We are using different elements here. And again, Valhalla is missing here could always be replaced with a long uh, ableton reverb so anyways the project is loading um and it works even in the busiest parts of the project it plays properly we have uh, serum playing we have uh, lots of instances of diva playing this is all diva diva and more diva here and what's this diva again and this is this is the Arturia Mini. It's also playing. Oops, um, one of my Melodic Techno patches. And then we have another instance of the Arturia Mini here in the ARP, uh, one of the arpeggio patches from the Melodic Techno pack. Check link in the description. Oh, this one is not playing, by the way. Yeah, I'm not using this one here. I'm using this. But see, there's even. Um, something active that we are not playing and uh, we could also deactivate it that way it would not cause any cpu load for ableton in this moment whenever you're playing along because otherwise ableton has to make sure like you could press this button any second and it would have to play that right away in live mode for example so that's why they're always kind of on standby if you really want to save uh, cpu you need to deactivate them it's getting a bit more busy with the second arp here But you see, this is a heavy project, a very heavy project, and we are running it on the M1. We are screen recording at the moment, even uh, in, in 4K here, and it works. <laughs> and this thing costs, uh, I think in this setup, it costs like half of uh, last year's or the 2020, 2020, early 2020 or late 2019 uh, MacBook Pro 16 inch. It's like half half of that price, almost or pretty much. It might even give you the exact same performance. I made a made a video the other day. You can check it out. It's also on my channel where I uh, compared uh, those two with um, how many instances of Diva can we run si simultaneously with 
while playing chord and it was almost the same i think it was one could play 16 and the other one could play 18 or something like that so it's really really close all right so much for the video uh, i hope you enjoyed it feel free to leave a like and a comment and i hope to see you next time